Hi there, we're going to look at Coldplay's new song called A Sky Full of Stars. Um, it's a really easy song actually, there's only four chords, uh, well five chords, but um, four chords are repeated over and over again, and there's a slight variation later on in the song, but it's still uh, the same four chords being played again. Um, so what you'll need to know is uh, to play this version along with the original, you need a capo on the first fret. Uh, it's probably the easiest way to play this song with the easiest chord uh, chord formation. I can do another tutorial without this but the chords are a little bit trickier. Um, so if you want the easy version uh, put a capo on your first fret. If you don't have a capo I can show you how to make a homemade capo. Just follow the link above my finger and that will show you um, how to make your own capo at home. Um, all you need is pencil and some rubber bands. It's quite easy. Um, it's in standard tuning so you don't have to mess around with the tuning. And there are four main chords throughout three quarters of the song, which just repeat over and over again. So I guess the tricky part about this song is just keeping the rhythm going for for so long. It is quite a repetitive song. Um, so it's the four chords are D minor, B flat, F, A minor. Okay, so before I show you the strumming pattern I put along to the song, um, I'll just break down the chords for you just in case uh, some of you don't know, those of you who are just starting out. This is a really good beginner's song. Um, so, first chord is a, a D minor, a form of D minor. First finger on the, um, I'll refer, because the capo's on this first fret, I'll refer to this as the first fret now. Um, so, first finger on the first fret of the first string. Uh, your second finger on the third string of the second fret and your third finger on the second string of the third fret. That's a D minor. Then you'll need a B flat. So this is a bar chord. You're barring all the strings on the first fret and with your second, third and fourth finger you're placing them on the second, third and fourth strings of the third fret. Push your shoulder into the guitar if you're just starting out and you don't have the strength in your fingers and that will give you a little bit more strength behind, uh, behind the strings. And uh, then we need an F chord. And then F chord, you keep your first finger barred on all the, uh, the first strings on the first uh, fret. And then with your second finger, you place it on the third string of the second fret. And with your third and fourth fingers, you place those on the um, fourth and fifth string of the third fret. So that's an F. So from the B flat, you're just going to be making the switch to the F. And then from there we go to the A minor. And the A minor is first first finger on the second string of the first fret and fingers two and three on the third and fourth string of the second fret. So those are the first four chords. Um, there's only one other chord you need to know and I'll show you that in a bit, uh, which is just simple C chord. Um, but the song throughout, for three quarters of the song, it goes something like this. Um, So it's really easy, uh, as I said, uh, you've got to play it a lot of times throughout the song, so it's just not getting distracted or, or getting bored, so um, it's the tricky part. So, so all I'm doing there is... So the rhythm is... All the way through. And change. And change, so it would be... It's as simple as that. If you did want to mix it up a bit, you can put more of a rhythm to it. But uh, it doesn't really fit into the song. I guess if you're putting your own spin on it and you're just playing it at home, uh, you can mess around with the rhythm. But uh, if you want to play along with the rhythm, that's what uh, that's what it sounds like. Um, the only other thing you need to know is, so that, that plays, that plays throughout most of the song, 
and then it, it gets to an instrumental part and uh, once it hits the instrumental part uh, three quarters of the way through the song um, you keep playing that that sequence of B minor B flat to F and then to A minor so once you hit the instrumental you play that sequence four times and then that, then at that point you've got a, a, it, it mixes up slightly uh, it just changes so instead of starting with the D minor and the B flat you start uh, the rest of the song uh, from that point onwards is played with uh, a B flat C F and A minor so the last two chords are the same it's still F to F minor but the first two chords change it's B flat to C so um, so once you get to instrumental you play the usual B minor to B flat F to A minor play it four times and then you switch it to so B flat to C to F A minor um, and that's the whole song. The song finishes with those four chords all the way through to the end. So B minor, uh, B flat, C, F, and A minor. Um, what I'll do now is I'll play the whole song and I'll put the chords up on screen and they'll appear one or two seconds before you need to play them so you can play along with the song. Um, you might notice that a few parts um, I might get a bit distracted. Uh, that's just because it's quite repetitive, so I'm, I'm, my attention goes a little bit. But uh, and I probably need to practice it a little bit more. But I've just learned it now, so I wanted to get this video up there, uh, up on the web as quickly as possible. Uh, so that's the whole song. Uh, it's not difficult at all. Um, I didn't explain how to form the C, just in case you don't know. Uh, the C is first finger on the second uh, string of the first fret second finger on the fourth string of the second fret and third finger on the fifth string of the uh, third fret um, so, and that's it so if you have any questions any comments any queries just uh, leave your comments below check out shigari.com uh, it's a website for sharing tutorials so your favorite tutorials um, you can categorize them there put levels and genres to the videos so we just try and find all the best videos on the web and especially on youtube and categorize them so that they can be easily found and rated and commented on and uh, we've got loads of ideas for the site and hopefully we're getting a new fancy profile page soon and a few other big ideas being implemented soon so check out the site and tell your friends about it and uh good luck and i'll see you at the next song